Hello. How to improve your English vocabulary? Improving your vocabulary is one of the most enjoyable parts of learning a language. It isn't just about memorizing long lists of words. It's about immersing yourself in the language and letting your brain naturally absorb new words over time. One of the most effective ways to do this is by focusing on comprehensible input. This means exposing yourself to content that you mostly understand but that also contains some of new words and phrases. When you read or listen to material that is just a bit beyond your current level, your brain can often figure out the meaning of new words through context. You don't need to understand every word immediately. In fact, trying to memorize every single word at once is counterproductive and can make the process frustrating. Instead, allow yourself to absorb the language gradually by engaging with content that interests you. Whether you enjoy reading short stories, watching TV shows, or listening to podcasts, the key is to consume content that keeps you motivated and curious. The more interested you are, the more you will pay attention and your brain will naturally pick up new vocabulary. The power of repetition in different contexts. Research shows that we need to encounter a word multiple times in different contexts before it becomes part of our active vocabulary. This is why it's important to read and listen widely. If you see a new word in a book and then hear it in a podcast, the repetition reinforces the meaning of the word. The more often you come across the word, the deeper it will be ingrained in your memory. However, repetition alone is not enough. What really makes a difference is seeing the word in different contexts. If you only study vocabulary lists 
you'll know the meaning of the words in isolation. But when you see them in real-life situations, they may seem unfamiliar. On the other hand, when you encounter a word in a variety of sentences with different meanings and nuances, you'll understand it much better. This is why it's important to diversify your sources of learning. Read books, listen to podcasts, watch videos, and talk to people whenever possible. Don't force memorization. Many language learners make the mistake of thinking they need to memorize every new word they encounter. This approach can be overwhelming and discouraging. Instead of trying to memorize words by force, allow yourself to encounter them naturally over time. Trust that your brain is designed to pick up on patterns and with enough exposure the words will eventually become familiar. Of course, you can make notes or use flashcards for particularly tricky words, but don't stress about memorizing everything at once. It's also important to enjoy the process. If you focus too much on studying and memorizing, learning English can feel like a chore. But when you're reading a novel you love, watching an interesting video or listening to a fascinating podcast, learning new vocabulary becomes a natural byproduct of your engagement with the language. When you're having fun, you're more likely to stick with it and the new words will stick with you. Make the words your own. Once you've encountered new words multiple times in different contexts, it's time to start using them. This is where active learning comes into play. When you use a word in a sentence, in writing, or in conversation, you make it your own. The process of actively producing the word cements it in your memory, far more effectively than just passively reading it. The process of actively producing the word cements it in your memory, far more effectively than just passively reading it. You don't need to use the word perfectly. In fact, making mistakes is a vital part of learning. The more you practice using the word, the more confident you'll become. 
If you're not yet comfortable speaking with others, you can start by writing short sentences using your new vocabulary. Over time, you'll feel more comfortable using the words in conversations. Listening as a vocabulary building tool. Listening is often underestimated when it comes to vocabulary building, but it's a critical part of the process. When you listen to conversations, podcasts or movies, you hear how words are used in real-life situations. This exposes you to not just the meanings of words, but also how they're pronounced, how they fit together in a sentence, and how they change depending on the context. One of the best ways to combine listening and reading is by watching movies or TV shows with subtitles. This allows you to both hear and see the new words. The combination of visual and auditory input makes it easier to remember new vocabulary. Gradual progress and patience. Building your vocabulary takes time and it's important to be patient with yourself. You won't learn hundreds of new words overnight and that's okay. The key is gradual progress. If you focus on enjoying the content you're engaging with and remain constant, you'll find that your vocabulary steadily improves over time. Instead of setting rigid goals like learn 50 new words a day, aim to increase your exposure to English every day. Whether it's reading a chapter of a book, listening to a podcast or having a conversation, every bit of input helps. Little by little, your vocabulary will expand naturally. In summary, improving your vocabulary is not about memorization or cramming. It's about exposure, enjoyment and practice. The more you read, listen and use the language, the more words you learn. Just remember to take it step by step, have fun with the process and trust that your brain will do the hard work of learning for you as long as you stay consistent 